Hello and welcome to my first video in English. Normally I create video content for German Fibaro and smart home users. Now I want to start to create English videos too that non-German people can use my scripts and my devices too. So when you want to see more about smart home and smart home with Fibaro then subscribe our channel and don't forget a thumbs up in the end. Today in the video I want to show you how you can send you a push notification or start a LED stripe or a text-to-speech output from Amazon Alexa when, for example, your dishwasher is finished. This tutorial works also with washing machines or with dryer. With all devices it's possible. For hardware setup you need a Fibro Home Center and a wall plug. It's important that it's not only a switch where I turn on and turn off. It's important that it's with power consumption that you can see how much energy it's need at the moment in your Fibaro home center. Now I want to show you my output if my dishwasher is finished. Normally it starts automatically, but now I start it with hand. The dishwasher is ready. You see my Alexa turns the sound information that the dishwasher is finished. Here you see the LED stripes switch on and I get the notification on my mobile phone that the dishwasher is finished. Let us start with this tutorial. We see us in the office. So I changed the location and now I want to show you how you install the script and how you do that you get for example a push notification when your dishwasher or your washing machine is done. So my wall plug I add to the Fibaro home center and you see at the moment they need no energy. The dishwasher is off. The ID from the device 157 here or here I copy, we need it later and for create a function we need a new zine. I open it in a new tab and then add zine and we add a Lua zine. First we add a good name to the zine and I add it to the room kitchen and then in the advanced tab we must add the zine. You can copy it from the article below the video. So, and in the script we must change few things. First, here in this area we must add the ID from the wall plug. It's 157. And what this area do? Here we can say in what situation the zine won't be start. And we say all time when the power of the device 157 is changing, the scene is running. So then here we must add again our device ID and here we must add few information about in what situation the washing machine is starting and in, in what situation from energy using it's stopping and how many seconds it must be standby energy usage. usage that the device is really finished. For finding the numbers you click to consultation and then here to more and then we switch the toggle to the light then you can select here the dishwasher wall plug. So we change to daily and then we see yesterday my dishwasher was on and now I go to this area and we see yesterday I started two times and we must check this and this area. And here we see, okay, yeah, when it's more than 50 watt energy usage, then the machine is starting. And now we must check how much any energy they use when they is finished. So we see in the end, oh, it's smaller than, than five. So here we can add then, for example, eight. Yes, it's a little backup when it needs a little bit more that it's working too. And then we have standby seconds. My machine don't do it, but other machine do it. They make when they run a break. Example then here, they go to standby and after 30 seconds, they start run again. And that's the reason why you can add here a, sec a number for seconds, example, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, how many seconds the standby energy using must be done that it's really standby or and finish. Example, when you have here now 10 minutes a break and then it's work again, the machine, then you must add 600. Yes, in my machine, my machine don't do it. And 
I can add a very small number, only 10 seconds. So here we have then a global var name. When you have example dishwasher, dryer or washing machine, you must change the name example to dryer. But in my example, dishwasher is good. And this global var you must add in your FIBAR home center. Click to panels and then to variables panels. And here when you scroll down, you can add this text and save. Value zero, it's okay. I save it before, but you must click press to save. So then the configuration is done. Here you have a debug mode. When you set it to true, you see in the debug window more information about how it's running and any mistakes and those things. But for basic configuration faults, it's okay. Only when you have any problems, you can set it to true. So what does script now exactly do? The script, it's all time running when the power of the device going up or change the value. Then the script check, is it more than power on? And when it's more than power on, they set the dishwasher one ra to one. And then all time when they change the power, the script is running again. And when it's one, they check, is it now smaller than power standby? And when it's smaller, they check, is it more than standby second? The configuration of the script is finished and now you must add what is to do. You have two ways to do it, one time with Lua and one time with graphical zine. This example here is with Lua. Here for example I sent a push to me and to my wife. First the ID of the iPhone or Android device, then the information sent push and then dishwasher is finished. How you find the ID? It's not very easy in Fibaro Home Center. The easiest way is when you go to the IP address of your home center, then slash API, and then devices. This link I add in the video description too. And from there you can copy it. And when we search now by iPhone, you see here my iPhone and here the ID. And when you search example for Tanya's iPhone, then you find here the ID. And so you can find the ID of your mobile devices. It's important that you have installed the Fibaro app. When you haven't installed it, you can't find your mobile, mobile phone here. So then I have here Alexa text to speech. This video is at the moment only available in German. I create in the next week's the video about how you use text to speech with Alexa or with Bose Sound Touch. Then you get more information about this. When you, when you like Lua or you can work with Lua, then you can use this. When you don't like Lua, you can delete this all, save it, and then this zine is finished. But we must create a new one, but a graphical zine. We click to add zine and then graphic. And then we can add here the if value. If if dishwasher run, uh, if dishwasher zero, and we do it here, you see it. All time when the dishwasher is finished, we set the, the global var back to zero. And in this situation, this graphical scene is running. It works exactly like this, but here is the trigger, not the var dishwasher run. Here's the trigger, the power. But so it's work, and then, and then we must say then, for example, notification, dishwasher is finish, push, and iPhone by Nico, and this message you must create before on the panels, and then notification panel. You must create it here at the message and save it, and then you find the message here. And a notification dishwasher is finished um, to Tanya's iPhone. So now we have notification to push finish. Here you can create add more things. Example on my example, I I switched on my LED stripe for a few seconds. This we can add here too. Example 
with and eg kitchen and then Sockellichtinsel. It's in German, yes, my home center is in German. I'm sorry for this, but but it must be okay. Then <coughs> we want set a color and here you can add what you want. You can add a number between 0 and 255 for configurate the color. So I add now a red one, then red is 255, it means it's a dark red and no green, blue and white. So, and we want that it's only for 10 seconds and for this we add the device again with turn off after 10 seconds. So, this is finished Then the exactly way is now this scene is running. When the dishwasher is finished, they set the global VAR dishwasher 1 back to 0 and this start this scene and we send us a push notification and set my LED stripe to red and after 10 seconds we turn off. I hope I can help you with the video. When you want to see more videos in the future about fiber and smart home and tutorials and other things, then subscribe our channel and when you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I hope I see you in the next video and how I say before all scenes and all functions it's linked in the article below the video. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye.